toughest route to defend. And I'm like any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is clear catch, 6-9-9. Nine, nine. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Cook up the gut. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. 52 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Well, they didn't accomplish their goal. They didn't get a stop there, gave up another first down. They have all three timeouts in their pocket. I think defensively, you got to start thinking about using them here. I was just going to ask you, at what point do you think now's the go time? I think now's the go time. I don't think you sit back and wait because they can take a lot of time off the clock between plays and run three to four and really put you in a stressful spot. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll set up to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll set up a throw. Open man once again at Steelen. And he will have a Vikings first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. Oh, what a move. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it, an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll try and sneak it here. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. A great play there. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Vikings are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time <laughs> they had the football. That was absolutely... The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It'll go as a gain of 12, and that should just about wrap this one up. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. Well, partner, the season officially underway. It was great to be back with you, obviously. But the first game of the year, always a special one. And love, I know you do too, love having it on a Thursday night. Yeah, I think it makes it special, right? It makes it so that everyone is just watching, all eyes on it on a special night like that. I think it's going to be a great 
season, partner. Can't wait for the next several months. We know they're going to be surprises all the way through the season. And before we know it, we'll be talking about opening up on a Thursday night again next season. So for the Vikings, they begin the new campaign with a victory here at